Hello and welcome. So far I had published a couple of different calendar templates. The custom calendar for US works for any year and it can automatically calculate all the US holidays for you. The custom calendar for 2013 in Tamar displays and presents the Tamil Nadu government holidays for 2013. Those templates provided a lot of flexibility. You can customize which day of the week you want to begin um, your week with on the calendar. You can also enter up to 100 of your personal events and they will be displayed on the calendar. Um, I wanted to expand that a little bit further and now I'm publishing a calendar template which I'm calling the all-purpose calendar maker. And this template can be used in any scenario like at home, or schools, companies, libraries, nonprofit organizations and others. It can also be used in any country as it does not have any feature that is country specific. I've also added more flexibility to this template. You can now choose which days or which days in a week are considered to be weekends in your situation. And you also can choose up to five different types of events. You still get to choose up to 100 events, but you can now group them into up to five different types of events because each event type will be displayed on the calendar with different color and that helps in presentation of a variety of different events that you may have. You can download this template from inzara.blogspot.com and this blog post has more details about the template and here's the link to download the template. When you open the document, this is what the template will look like. You can, you can create your own customized calendar in five simple steps. So let's get started. Step number one is entering basic information about your calendar. So which date do you want the calendar to begin with? And in this case, for example, I've entered 25th August 2012. And so the calendar will actually begin in August of 2012 and it will end in July of 2013. And this end date is automatically calculated by the template. Then you get to choose which day of the week you want to begin on your calendar. So here you can choose any of the seven days of the week and the template would automatically update. You also would provide a name or give a name to your calendar. So you could enter your organization name or school name or your own name, whatever that you would like to print or display on the calendar. Step number two is setting your weekends. This is where you get to customize your calendar. So for example, here, all the Sundays of a month, also the second Saturday of every month will be highlighted with red font on the calendar because they are considered as weekends. If, for example, I want to also have the fourth Saturday of every month to be a holiday, then I go here and choose yes. And you can choose Mondays or Tuesdays depending on your own personal need, you can customize it however you want. So now, this is where you set your weekends. Now let's move on to step number three. This is, so in this template, you can enter up to 100 events and you can group those events into up to five different types. There are five pre-chosen colors here. These colors will be used on the calendar for the events corresponding the specific event type. The order of these events dictates the priority. If there are multiple events on a single day, we will see that in action later in this video. You don't need to have five different types of events. In your situation, if you just want one or two, you can just enter those events types and you can re leave the rest of the event types blank. And then you move on to Step number four, which is where you would actually enter the events, the event name, event date, and the event type. And this is a drop down menu driven by what we just now set in step number three. You would notice that there are green check marks here. The green check marks indicate that the date you have here is actually within the 12 month window for your calendar. If I choose um, a date which is outside these 12 months, 
then automatically I see a red cross mark. So that tells me that that date is outside the window and will not be displayed on the calendar. So now that we have entered the events, let's go to the final step in this process, which is step number five, um, where you get to choose the specific design. There are a couple of different designs. So one is the one page 12 month calendar and the other one is a monthly calendar which prints on 12 different pages. Now let's take a look at the one page 12 month calendar first. So this is what the calendar will look like and you have the events on the right side and the calendar on the left. And when you scroll down further, you see the different types of events that we selected in the input sheet and also they are shown in different colors as well. So as you can see here, all the event dates are color coded on the calendar. And let's take the example of November 17th, where we have a couple of different events. So one is a test day and then also there is a birthday. So in such cases, the test days and the birthdays, whichever of the event type is placed higher on the event type list. Let's take a look at that in the input sheet. So test days will be prioritized higher than the birthdays. So test days would have the light red color. So when I go back to my calendar, I see that November 17th is highlighted with light red color because the test days overrides the birthdays event type in this example. And now let's go back to the inputs and then take a look at the other calendar, which is a monthly calendar prints on that prints on 12 different pages. So this is how the monthly calendar looks like. So like I said, each month will be printed on a separate page and then your events will be highlighted and color coded just like we saw in the 12 month calendar. And also you can see that the events are actually listed right below the date. And if there are multiple events on the same day, like for example, here, November 17th, both those dates are, both those events are presented here and there can be up to five different events on a single day. And now both these calendars, both the 12 month and the monthly calendars can be printed and you just go and hit file, print and you, as you can see here they are ready to be printed and you can also export this as a pdf and you can share that document as well now that's all we have about this template and if you have any questions about this template please reach out to me at inzara.blogspot.com and if you like the template please share with others and also take a look at some of the other templates that I have on my blog and if you have any suggestions or if you would like to make any changes to this template please let me know in the comment section in the blog. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find this useful. Thank you.